The Story of the Talking Stone Chapter 1 The Discovery in Grandpa's Garden Elderville, bathed in the warm hues of summer, unfolded its charm as Kabir spent his vacation days at Grandpa's house. The garden, a sanctuary of vibrant blooms and curious critters, became the playground for Kabir and his animated plush bear, Blueberry. Little did they anticipate that their carefree exploration would unveil a mysterious artifact. Nestled amidst the fragrant blossoms, Kabir's eyes caught a glint of an unusual stone with weathered carvings. Intrigued, he reached down to pick it up. As Kabir's fingers brushed the surface of the ancient rock, a sudden surge of energy enveloped them. The garden blurred, and the ambient sounds of Elderville were replaced by the distant hum of an unknown city. In the blink of an eye, the familiar surroundings vanished, and Kabir found himself standing in the midst of a bustling ancient city. The air buzzed with excitement as merchants hawked their wares and citizens navigated narrow cobblestone streets. Blueberry, still snugly tucked under Kabir's arm, had transformed from a plush toy into a lively companion, mirroring the astonishment etched on Kabir's face. The stone clutched in Kabir's hand seemed to hold the key to their unexpected journey. The carvings on its surface glowed faintly, resonating with the magical energy that transported them through time. With Elderville now replaced by this historical tapestry, Kabir and Blueberry stood on the threshold of an adventure beyond their wildest dreams. The mysterious stone, cradled in Kabir's palm, beckoned them to unravel the secrets of the ancient city and discover the tale that awaited them. Chapter 2 The Enchanted Antiquities As Kabir and Blueberry acclimated to the sights and sounds of the ancient city, they marveled at the grandeur of antiquity surrounding them. Cobblestone streets led to marketplaces adorned with vibrant fabrics, intricate pottery, and the enticing aroma of exotic spices. The stone in Kabir's possession pulsed with a subtle energy, guiding them through the maze of historical wonders. Locals bustled about, their attire a kaleidoscope of rich colors and the air filled with the harmonious sounds of craftsmen at work. Conversations echoed tales of the legendary talking stone, said to possess the ability to bring solace to a city once torn by ancient conflicts. Driven by an innate curiosity, Kabir and Blueberry embarked on a quest to unveil the mysteries of the talking stone. The stone, seemingly attuned to their intentions, led them through narrow alleys and grand squares, each step revealing more layers of the city's storied past. In a marketplace shaded by colorful canopies, the duo encountered a storyteller whose eyes gleamed with the wisdom of ages. With a welcoming gesture, the storyteller shared tales of the talking stone describing its moments of brilliance in advising leaders and offering guidance in times of turmoil. However, the stone had fallen silent, leaving the city in a state of unrest. Intrigued and filled with a sense of purpose, Kabir and Blueberry pressed on, the animated conversations in the stone's soft glow propelling them towards the heart of the city. The adventure had only just begun, and the ancient city held the promise of unraveling a tale that connected their destinies with the mystical talking stone. Chapter 3 Unraveling the Tale Guided by the pulsating energy of the ancient stone, 
Kabir and Blueberry delved deeper into the labyrinthine streets of the city. The carvings on the stone seemed to glow more vibrantly as they approached the heart of the historical metropolis, where echoes of an untold story awaited. As they wandered through bustling marketplaces and quiet courtyards, Kabir and Blueberry discovered ancient inscriptions that chronicled the rise and fall of civilizations. The stone hummed softly, resonating with the tales etched into the walls and pillars. Soon, they encountered a wise elder who spoke of a forgotten prophecy. According to the ancient lore, a time traveler and his animated companion would arrive bringing with them the power to rekindle the voice of the talking stone. Kabir and Blueberry realized that they were the embodiments of this prophecy, destined to play a crucial role in restoring harmony to the city. The duo's journey led them to hidden chambers adorned with murals that illustrated the talking stone's benevolence. Legends spoke of its ability to communicate solutions in times of crisis, providing counsel to leaders and ensuring the prosperity of the ancient city. However, the stone had fallen silent due to a disturbance in the delicate balance of the past. Determined to fulfill the prophecy and help the talking stone reclaim its voice, Kabir and Blueberry deciphered cryptic clues and followed the intricate trail of symbols. Each revelation brought them closer to understanding the narrative woven into the city's history and the pivotal role they were destined to play. With newfound purpose, Kabir and Blueberry embarked on the final leg of their quest. The talking stone awaited them, its silence a poignant reminder of the ancient city's longing for peace. As they stood on the threshold of their mission, the stone's glow intensified, signaling the approaching climax of a tale that transcended time itself. Chapter 4 Restoring Peace In the heart of the ancient city, Kabir and Blueberry discovered a concealed chamber, where the talking stone lay dormant. The room was filled with an ethereal glow as the stone awaited the fulfillment of the prophecy. Kabir, clutching the ancient artifact, and Blueberry, his plush companion now charged with magical energy, felt a profound responsibility weighing on their shoulders. As they approached the talking stone, the air in the chamber seemed to vibrate with anticipation. The stone, with its intricate carvings, bore witness to the passage of centuries, and the duo sensed a powerful connection with the ancient artifact. Kabir shared tales of their time, their adventures, and the significance of harmony with the talking stone. Blueberry animatedly chimed in with heartfelt expressions of friendship and the universal desire for peace. The stone absorbed their stories, resonating with newfound energy. In a moment of enchantment, the talking stone began to emit a melodic hum that echoed through the chamber. The once silent artifact was reawakening its voice echoing the wisdom accumulated over the ages. The vibrations spread throughout the ancient city, bringing a serene ambience that transcended time itself. Outside the chamber, the city responded to the restoration of the talking stone. Citizens gathered, captivated by the harmonious resonance that filled the air. Marketplaces and squares, once marked by unrest, now embraced a tranquil atmosphere. Kabir and Blueberry, witnesses to the transformation they had catalyzed, felt a profound sense of fulfillment. 
the ancient city, once shrouded in the echoes of turmoil, now stood as a testament to the enduring power of unity and the indomitable spirit of those destined to shape the course of history. As the talking stone continued to radiate its wisdom, Kabir and Blueberry bid farewell to the ancient city. The stone's energy enveloped them once more, transporting them back to Grandpa's garden in Elderville. With the ancient artifact returned to its resting place, Kabir and Blueberry carried the echoes of their journey, forever bound by the magical tale of the talking stone and the peace they had restored in a city lost to time. Let your dreams be touched by the adventures in the unknown, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel.